guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. I am joined by the Zodiac Killer Zodiac. What is hey up, man? How you doing, bro? I'm fine. I hope you too. Yeah, man. Happy to have you back on the channel, dude. People really loved you the first time. For an e-golem player, you have a few fans out there. Surprising, yeah. huh? Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Were you surprised when they buffed your favorite card? You're one of the most recognized Elixir Golem players out there in the world. Yes. You were surprised? Yeah, yes. <laughs> okay. What do, you, what do you think of the card right now? I think e Golem is a really good card right now because there are really good matchups like G Skelly, Arthur Queen Bomb Tower, with Hawk Rider, MK, Sparky, Xbo, 3M. There are just few counters like Lockbait, but. Overall, there are many, many good matchups, and I like this card. I am a fan from this card since it got released, and I having fun with the card. Yeah, man. Again, and, and yeah, and you're thirty yeah. first in the world. Do you think that fifteen percent was a uh, buff to the uh, attack speed was too much? Uh, I think no, because uh, uh, it's a good hit speed right now. But in few situations, it's too hard. But I think overall, it's balanced. Okay, cool, man. Well, wait, I, what we're going to do today, you're 31st in the world, right? You're a yeah. beast. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play a live ladder match or two. But we're going to start with a couple replays here. So let's get, well, let's get the replays out of the way first, right? I'm going to ask you about the deck and stuff like that. Let's go against Anaban. Let's press play yeah. in three, two, one, play. So talk to me about a little bit about, not not necessarily this matchup. We'll kind of break down log bait in the next matchup because log bait is mm -hmm. freaking everywhere right now. Uh yes. So, break down just overall strategy if you don't know what the heck your opponent is playing. Uh, we're going to try to take this deck seriously. What are you trying to do in single elixir time? It depends on the situation and how my start on this. If I have double dragon healer in my hand, I am rating. Again, uh, if I have bar part, I am rating too. It, ego, uh, I don't make ego in first play uh, Never. anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Because... It doesn't make sense when I go when I go e golem first play and he plays lock bait. He will defend my e golem and punish me on both sides. Um, it depends on the matchup. That's why I wait normally. Until if they go, I I'm just gonna throw some random crap at you and you can tell me what you do. If they go, if let's say you have e golem in your in your starting hand, right? Uh, let's mm -hmm. say you have e golem battle healer, e dragon, and nato. What exactly what you have right now in the replay? So that's your starting hand, and they drop a uh, they drop a golem in the back. What do you do? A healer behind my tower and double dragon. Same and lane. I, same lane. Yes, yeah, same lane. Same okay. lane. Definitely same lane because uh, you can d uh, def d uh, defend an e golem push easily because and golem push. Sorry, my mistake. Yeah. Um, or and. Then you can Counter push. play a healer, double dragon. If he has lightning, you can block the lightning with your e golem and have a full life dragon healer push against his golem. And then yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 They and I assume it's the same exact thing if they drop an electro giant in the back. Same. Okay, yes. Uh, what, a lava hound in the back. What are you doing? Same thing. Against lava hound, same lane. I go healer in the back, and. Then I play my dragon um, behind my tower, but if the lava hound is kinda at the bridge, that my dragons are in my half side. And depends on if you play lava miner or lava loon. If he plays la only lava miner, I play my bar part be behind my tower, uh, one tile uh, to the right side. If he plays lava hound in my left side, I play the bar part behind my left tower, one tile uh, to the right side. Okay, so near your king tower? Near your king tower? Uh, yes. Okay, okay, got because, that. Be, uh, because if you play minor, the bar part to defend the minor, and you have this one tile on the left corner, uh, on your left tower, to play an e-dragon or baby dragon in this... Uh, I got it. Uh, yeah, I got, I got you, I got you, I got you. All right, cool. So tell me about, I want to talk one thing about the battle healer and the uh, the elixir golem, like the synergy there. Are you ev are you always trying to get the battle healer with the elixir golem on every push or is it yes. just depend? Okay, so like that is it's super important? Yes. Okay. Um, 
depends on the situation, but normally I go every time Eagle and Healer uh, okay. in my push because otherwise it doesn't make sense. Even if he plays Lightning or uh, or Poison, you need the Healer. If he doesn't even have a big spell, it's important to have a Healer because he can't defend him. Okay, last question, just strategically, is with the, uh, blah, 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 blah. oh, are you ever using the Elixir Golem as like a meat shield or because of the Elixir that you're giving back, like on defense, for example, uh, or because of the Elixir that you're inherently giving back with the card, is that an awful idea? Wow, look at this push. <laughs> um... You know what I'm saying? Do you want me to rephrase? Like. Let's just say, like, there's a, a couple charging princes coming down your lane, and you have Elixir yeah. Golem in hand. Would you ever use the Elixir Golem to tank for the princes while you drop the support troops? Or is that a bad, like, is it, like what people do with a Golem or a Giant sometimes, you know? Or would you never do that? Uh, the good question. Thank you. Thank I you. think that we have to look at the Lockbat gameplay because okay. it's really hard to answer this question. Question. Okay, so basically, you're taking the fifth. You're taking the fifth on that one. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Here we go, guys. All right. So talk to us about log bait, man. You really, obviously, you're gonna know, have to know how to do your best against log bait if you're playing right now in Clash Royale. No matter what deck you're playing, what are you trying to do here? I played Fireball against the Princess, obviously. There, he played Goblin Gang as a bridge. I played Heal Spirit and Baby Dragon because E Drake. Yeah, it wouldn't make a difference if I play E-Drake or Baby Dragon. There I played Barpat against the Knight and pulled the Goblin Barrel back to the Barb. Does it matter to uh, you if you play same lane or opposite lane against bait? Not, no. Okay. Gotcha. So in, in, in single elixir you're basically just trying, against log bait you're just basically trying to survive? Yes. Okay. What do you think of the new Barb Hut? Uh, I like it. Obviously, Barfad, right? <laughs> Barfad is a really, really good card right now, but has some counters, but yeah. Barfad is really, really solid. Yeah, I kind of agree with you, man. I've been playing a Barfad graveyard deck, and I've been kind of enjoying it. Uh, I like okay. it, too. Yeah, yeah, back to the match. Back to the match. So when in doubt, is like, look at your hand right now. Are you just mm -hmm. gonna barpa? I mean, you can't barpa into the princess. What are you gonna do here, Baby D? Uh, he, Baby D, right? Then okay. he die against the princess. Okay. So again, you're just defending here. You don't care if you're losing a little bit of elixir in the exchange. Yes. Just trying to get to double elixir time. Now you're trying to drop a hut here on this next round, if you can. I think yes. Are you basically always just trying to hut up in single elixir time? If you. Yes. Okay. I don't want to risk that he can punish me with Night Goblin Gang. He made a mistake la uh, with the last princess. I played healer. He could have he could have locked the healer and played Goblin Gang be uh, between both cards. That his Goblin Gang protect my uh, his princess. Okay. But he didn't. It. I don't know why. Uh, okay. And is the bar part? It's really hard. Is Barpat the uh, only for uh, defense in this deck, or do you ever kind of like use it on offense too? Meaning that, are you ever trying to get a push with the Barbarians? Um, not every time, but often, yes. Okay, cool. Again, Expo is really important because you have the defense building and the good hit speed of the E-Golem. Okay. There, yeah, I had a big problem. Because my ego knows are dead. Yeah, you got that rocket. Yeah. So when that happens, because you're going to have a lot of pushes with this deck that everything dies, but you know your opponent's going to have a big elixir lead, and you know they're probably going to be aggressive with you, right? Because they think that they have a massive elixir lead because they just killed your elixir goal. So in those situations, I mean, it, what what are you doing? Just I'm uh, just basically trying to focus on defense to the best of your ability, and that's it. I mean, what else are you going to do, right? Yes. Okay. Do people, do people generally, in your opinion, play Elixir Golem too aggressively? Yes, with Ego and Rage. I hate this deck. <laughs> I hate Ego and Rage. You hate Ego and Rage? I As an Ego and fan. I like to play against it because I'm good against it, but I don't like this playstyle. That, that is this playstyle for which I get hated because I don't play even like this. Do you, I think... Uh, every, everyone hates E-Golem Rage uh, mm -hmm. or E-Golem because everyone 
who plays e golem plays e golem behind his tower healer behind it yeah ba double dragon rage that's and tower down that's right people hate e golem but i don't play like this i play you you see against block rate i play defense uh, def uh, defensive and then i Build, a, build two pushes. It's two pushes, but, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, but I try to. Uh, I play with tactic. With, yes, uh, you? Against my op opponent. I agree, I, I love your style. Really man. Good day Ooh. Of that was really important, and there you can see the golem hit speed. I can build, uh, spend my troops. Yes, yeah. That was without tactic, but. Um, there you go, and you get the baby D on the tower. You double down with an E-drag, another, you're just spamming the heck out of that right-hand lane, knowing that you've got it close. Man, that, that, uh, GG's there, man. The synergy between the, uh, the Tornado and the E-drag, even the Baby Drag, obviously, but, like, that's crazy stuff you can pull off there. Yes. All right, let's play a live match. I'll be right back. Oh, man, we got a game here, guys. We got a live match against Ian. Ian's one of my boys, man. You be easy on him, Zodiac. I think he plays X4 or Hawk Firecracker. Ian's so X good. I'm scared X4 for you. X4 be good. If he plays X4, he plays 3.0 and uh, 2.9. It might be 2.6, man. I don't think so, but... Mm. We'll see. Could be X4. Oh, 2.6, right. Ooh! All right. So you're gonna get the activation on here. There it is. Well, how do you feel about 2.6 as a matchup? I actually you love it, right? played often against this version with the new barb hut. You got I was gonna say you got the barb hut, you got the NATO. Yes, but he has a really fast good cycle. Against yeah, me. he can fireball you like 18 times on a one push. <laughs> yes. Alright, we'll see, we'll see, we we'll see. I can't believe we got Ian. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Alright, here we go. Fireball. I have to play Barb Hut. That was too much. That would be too much damage. Okay. But I have the Nader against the Hog Rider. If he doesn't play E Golem, uh, Ice Golem Hog Rider, then it's fine. Otherwise, I have uh, Kida E Drake against the next tour. So here's an interesting situation. You've got like 22 seconds left in single, but you had a nice elixir advantage. I hate this push, but he didn't play. He doesn't play well. What? 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 What, what was this? Oh man! Just a couple hog hits. <laughs> oh man! I don't have elixir. I need Barpat against the next hog rider. This bridge. No hit. Okay. Mm. So you, you go in here, right? I'm not sure right now. Fireball against the mask. Look at that discipline. Look at that discipline not going in there. That's what makes a an aggressive eagle player like me versus you. All right, so here he comes, cycling to a hog. No, I missed it. Oh, I missed. Okay. 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 <laughs> not, it's not over yet. Here we go. Sudden death overtime. I have an idea. Okay. Cool. I don't even play like 100%. I made some, I make some mistakes. But 26 is not so easy because he has a really cheap cycle. Yep. It's not quite over yet. Not quite over. You got a shot. Here he comes. Man, you're right. It is tough. <laughs> but yes, it's yeah. really tough. 
because he he's got all the spells, he's got all the kiting, he's got all the D. All right, GG's, GG's, man, he GG's. Really well, but I made some mistakes. It's okay, let's go into the next one. Let's do one more. Yes. You down? All right, let's do it. Yes. All right, Kaku. Kaku. Here we go. It's bridge at the bridge. He's no lock bait. Every time it's fine, but no lock bait. Okay, mortar. So against mortar. Up out. Motorcycle. Motorcycle is a really good matchup. Nice. It's okay, it's one hit. Oh, it's not motorcycle. What's this version? Okay. I would say I would. I go in. Okay, you're gonna go in. Okay, I well. don't know what he's playing, but I think he doesn't even have a big spell, or if he only has fireball, it's not enough to clear my push. Yes, right. If he plays mortar, I fireball can he cut in mortar. Yeah. Man, that was a lot of damage, too. You know, even though it wasn't like a massive push. Perfect. Whoa. Fireball. Nice fireball. Ah, I know this play. Uh, I know this deck. It's the deck what Mohamed Light played last time against me. Yeah, okay. Ago. This so matchup far, is really good. I was going to say, so far so good. And it looks like you've got the yes. situation under control. you got plenty of answers to everything that he has. Yes. Um. Alright. You're just gonna log cycle. You're gonna go ahead and set up with the barb hut and see what he does here. Immediately fireballs. I can start a big push and double elixir time. He doesn't can uh, he doesn't can do anything. Yeah. So here, the fireballs out of hand. You just eagle in the back here. Or? Yes. What makes you decide whether to go eagle in back or battle healer in back? Um. Normally, every time eagle him healer. Okay. Okay. Or uh, just healer in the back because when I. Have to defend a big push like Golem or e Drain or Drain. Okay. Got you, got you, got you. Ooh. Okay. Fine. There you go. You avoid Fireball the... Fireball predict against Minion North. Oh! There you go. And you get that beautiful through shot. Look at that. e Drag, dude. Just destroying, man. Yes. e Drag is a really nice card. I really like the e Drag too, man. Yes. Alright, so... You go with the big purple fella. Got a nice baby D. He's got nothing he can do here. Canyon. I want to pull out this continue because maybe put this down, but it's fine. Fireball. Gives you that nice fireball. You'll take it. I Boom. think he will go in with... Minion Horde. Minion Horde. Ah, who yes. cares? You got the you get the baby D back. Boom. Nice the job. Cannon cut, the cannon is still alive because I can. Uh, that's why I can go in with Ego. Nail yep. in my in everything. Fireball against the archers. Battle heal is gonna heal up the baby D a little bit. Nice fireball yes, to the archers. Barpart in. With fireball, healer. Okay. Triple elixir Eagle time coming up. Eagle. Good Edric chain. Oh. He does get a couple mortar hits though. Sets up another mortar. You get the baby D. Hey. You're going full core press here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get the NATO back in hand, you go ahead and use it right away, killing most of those Hello. minions from the board. E Golem. Nice fireball. And the E Golem's down. Spell cycle range. Just Zodiac Hello. doing. What Zodiac go. does. Go. Yes. GG's, man! Well done, Zodiac. Well a done. Really good yeah, man. Hey, it was a good one. It was a fun one. It was a fun video, dude. Are you still streaming? Uh, yes. Okay. You got the YouTube? Uh, I have YouTube, but I don't upload there many okay. videos.
Okay, we'll but include your stream information. Yeah, we'll get your Twitch information and uh, your player profile and stats. Thanks so much for coming on, man. I really enjoyed watching you play this deck and uh, talking a little extra golem with me and my viewers. Means a lot. Thank you. No problem, guys. That's going to do it for the video. Thank you for watching. And a big shout out to StatRail. We can see Zodiac's player stats and profile along with yours truly. Thank you. And as always, take care, guys. Yeah.